This is a demo of OAuth integration from a Second Life script talking to Twitter. So I've got two objects here, a slot machine and a craps table. Both of them bought from X Street, and I've added to each a script which when I interact with the object will talk to Twitter. So first of all let's click on the slot machine and it asks me to authorize Twitter access. So if I go to that page it asks me for my Twitter username or email and my password. Now the important thing to notice here is that I'm giving the information to twitter.com. I'm not giving it to the LSL script. The LSL script has asked to access my Twitter account and Twitter is asking me is that okay. So I'm going to say yes it is. So I'm going to put in SL tester as the username and I'm going to put in my password and I'm going to allow access for this application. Now there's more communication between the script and Twitter and this web page is actually generated from the script and it's asking me if I'd like to show Twitter. So let's go to the Twitter page and then if I sign in as SL tester because before I wasn't signing in I was just granting access for an application that didn't quite work so let me try again let's just try going to the SL tester page on Twitter and you can see that uh, at 1841 and 56 seconds Babbage Linden did something amazing in Second Life here and it's given me a slurl. So what this means is the object in Second Life is able to uh, ask people if once they've interacted with it they'd like to publish that interaction to Twitter. So I said yes, the Second Life script updated my status on Twitter and then um, all of the people who follow me on Twitter can see the update from the script and they can click on the link and they can join me in Second Life even if they're not residents. So um, I might have friends who are following me on Twitter who don't know that I use Second Life, they see the update, they can click on the slurl and they can jump to meet me in Second Life, download the client and, uh, and become a Second Life resident. So if I look at my Twitter settings for a moment and go to connections, you can see that uh, I've allowed the following applications to access my account. Second Life Script by Linden Lab, uh, described as a script running inside the Second Life virtual world. So what this allows me to do is it allows me to revoke access to applications um, that have I've granted access to uh, use my Twitter account inside Second Life. So I might interact with 20 different objects inside Second Life. I might give them all access to update my uh, Twitter status stream but then maybe one of them behaves badly starts spamming my friends too much and I can revoke access to that particular scripted application without revoking access to all of them so what this allows scripters and content developers in Second Life to do is experiment with um, different uh, ways of um, virally spreading um, uh, and promoting their application through things like Twitter and if you have Twitter linked to Facebook possibly Facebook as well um, it allows people to experiment with different things maybe they'll tell uh, people that you've maybe won money or you've been skydiving maybe they'll provide a link to a freebie um, and all of the Second Life content creators can try different techniques different uh, viral um, advertising um, methods and um, and if one of them goes too far becomes too spammy then uh, then users can revoke access to that particular application while still letting the other ones use their Twitter account. So now if I close this window and if I click on the slot machine again I've already granted authorization to the slot machine to use my Twitter account so if I click on it again um, it's not going to ask me for authorization again because I've already given it um, it's just going to ask me if I'd like to show my Twitter stream so if we go to that page again this time I'm logged in so you can see my uh, Twitter stream immediately and you can see the new update uh, Babbage Linden did something amazing in Second Life at 18.45 now uh, and you can click on that slow and you can teleport to the object inside Second Life. So that's a quick demo of how we can have LSL scripts or C-sharp scripts uh, talk to um,
Twitter using OAuth and obviously they can talk to other applications using OAuth and they can use OAuth to be able to um, spread updates about what people are doing inside Second Life to other social media on the web um, without having to give um, passwords and uh, usernames um, uh, to Second Life scripts. So it's a safe and uh, effective way of um, integrating uh, Second Life with social media and using the social media to um, spread stories about the, act the amazing activities that happen in Second Life.